Here we are. These are the startup bootcamp intro tech teams. Each team you see here is concentrating on refining its proposition and getting the most from mentors and program partners. All of this was not there five months ago. Indeed, five months ago, there was nothing, actually nothing but a few office desks. We started by recruiting a talented team of individuals to support the program. We looked for a chief operation officer and found one in Germany. I was uh, scouting for the um, Berlin Accelerator and I met Nectarius in, at a conference in St. Gallen. Basically, a month later, I was hired to be the CEO in London. We needed a head of marketing and we were very lucky to take him away from Greece. We are just a bunch of kids, but uh, <laughs> we have created uh, something that actually is big uh, globally. We also needed a head of events. She was just a few miles away from us here in London. I started off as an intern for Startup Bootcamp Fintech. And uh, three weeks later, I got promoted to entrepreneurial resident. And then I got an offer to be permanent, become events manager. The only way to find great startups is to listen to market needs. Jens took his luggage he visited 10 countries to interview those insurance startups that we might want to invite into the program here in London. After scanning so many of them, we decided to invite 18 great teams on our selection days. We could not believe it, but it was clear that all this hard work was finally culminating into a real program. In just a few weeks' time, we would be starting the first ever global InsurTech Acceleration and Innovation Program, full of discussions, validation, and hard work. With some days being super fun and other days less so. But each team always knew that it was and is part of a great and wonderful team of individuals, a family wanting to make an impact in this world. With 10 teams, selected out of over 1,000 companies, we are confident that those 10 ventures will have a significant impact on the global insurance scene in the future. With their passion for their ideas and vision for the future, we are certain that they can create a better and more customer-centric insurance world. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Startup Bootcamp in Tech, London 2016 Demo Day. We are making history. Today's Demo Day is the first ever Startup Bootcamp Demo Day fully dedicated to insurance startups. So what is a Demo Day? After 14 weeks, of acceleration and incredible hard work, our startup are here to introduce themselves to you, the insurance and investor community. Welcome to you all. Can I ask you, who within the, 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 the team here, the, the audience here, has come to a startup bootcamp before? Who is here for the first time? Wow, welcome. We are really thrilled to have so many of you here today, and we hope we have put a unique experience for you all. So, Nectarius is the founder of the InsureTech and FinTech programs. Nectarius could not be here with us today, so we thought we would bring him to you. Hello, Nectarius. Hello, everybody. Hello, Sabine, and welcome. When we talk 
to entrepreneurs, the first question we ask them is, what's the problem you're solving? And when we started the FinTech program in 2014, we had a lot of entrepreneurs who were solving real problems for the financial industry. And as we were talking to the community, we realized that there's a whole industry out there, the insurance industry, that has a lot of problems that need solving and nobody was around to take care of that. So we talked to the insurers, we talked to the entrepreneurs, and we talked to other people in the ecosystem. And little by little, we put this program together, which resulted into Startup Bootcamp InsureTech. And guess what? Today, we're celebrating this program with Demo Day. I have no more to say then. Wish you a very successful Demo Day. Enjoy the day. We've got some amazing teams who are all pitching for your business, for your attention, for your investment. Have a fantastic time and see you soon. Thank you. So today's Demo Day theme is Experience the Eruption. Why we would like you to experience the eruption? Well, it is to recognize the fast appearance of insurance startups. We would like you to, the eruption represent those startups that are working behind the scene and truly delivering new experiences for the insurance sector. Those startups will lead to the explosion of a new identity within the insurance sector as we see it today. Those startups are breaking out of the, into the mainstream, challenging incumbent players' way of doing things. And I believe that some of those new entrants are transforming the core fabric of what insurance is today and will be in the future. So I will keep my introduction short, then we will enjoy a fast-side chat with David Lasher from Deep and Ben Britt from Route 60 Venture, Startup Bootcamp InsureTech partner and investor ICNIP. Ben will facilitate the fast-side chat. And um, I must not forget my dear colleague Jens. Jens, our COO, will then take you through some guidelines and introduce the startup before their pitches. So the most interesting shift occur when a significant change overturns the existing balance of forces. We've been used to a world where commerce transacted linearly from business to customers. Firms added value to products, packaged them, and sold them to customers. Value was created upstream and flowed downstream. New entrants are now displacing market leaders faster than we have ever seen before. As entire industry transform, powered by the internet, digital technologies, and new generation of connected users. We have seen so many cases of institution unable to respond fast enough to converging trends. Here are a few examples. We could have found probably many more industries to show you this afternoon. Still, the same trends are infiltrating the insurance sector because of three major developments. First, post-recovery need to find new sources of investment. Last year, 2.7 billion were invested in insure tech startups. Yesterday, CB Insight highlighted that 45 Deals were made this first quarter, 2016, in insurtech startups, generating investment of 650 million. This represents six times the amount invested in 2011 and four times the investment made in 2015. The second point I want to make is the explosion of technological innovation and the commoditization of digital technology. And lastly, there is 1.8 billion, or 25% of the world population, composed of digital savvy and mobile friendly users, also called millennials. 
The internet has liberalized entrepreneurship. Now it's all about the sharing economy. Any startup can set up itself now with limited funds by bootstrapping themselves at the back end of the garage, like Jack Bezos did many years ago when he created Amazon. So let's make history. Let's experience the eruption. Let's preempt the need of this new breed of users, customers, and entrepreneurs. We at Startup Bootcamp are learning every day from those patterns of change and working alongside startups and corporates to facilitate transformative change. We empower the next generation of entrepreneurs. And in the insurance sector, we work with corporates to help them become truly collaborative. But where did it all start? In 2010, the founders of Startup Bootcamp had a vision. They wanted to find a way, a model to drive entrepreneurship at scale. They wanted to share the learnings and the lesson they learned over 25 years periods with an angry new breed of entrepreneurs and give back to the community. So in 2010, they created the first European accelerator. This accelerator actually had 10 different startups from different industries. You had gaming, you had e-commerce, you had finance. What they realized though, is while there was a lot of synergy, there were some collaboration limitations. So in 2012, they decided to develop the first industry program. They talked to industry startups and industry corporates. And what they found out that many of those corporates wanted to find new way to reshape their future and adapt to fast evolving landscapes. This is the way the FinTech program came about in 2014. And during that program, the first InsureTech startup graduated. Its name is Insley, a cloud-based insurance software platform for agents and brokers. And here are some interesting numbers from Insley. They now have 83 customers in 20 countries. They were self-funded until March this year. They just raised 1 million euro of investment. And they are recognized today as a trusted partner within the London insurance market. I believe Otkel from Insley is here with us. I would love if we could put a hand together for a big round of applause for the Insley team. Thank you. At the end of 2014, insurance startups and insurers approached Startup Bootcamp and asked the team to set up a program just for them. And it's the way the Startup Bootcamp program for InsureTech came about. So what makes us very special? Well, like my colleague Liz Lemney, head of ecosystem, would tell you, we give the startup three months of awesome. And what she would tell you is not you know, just three months of awesome, they actually, the startup, have to work really hard. It is not a spa for promising startups, actually, right, Liz? It is a real boot camp. So the startup have to actually work really hard. We give them the resource and the support they need to succeed. They have to put the effort to create sustainable businesses. But so where does all this start? Well, first we need to find the startups. So we scout the world to find startups. And last year we, we held 1,300 conversations with value startups from all around the world. So we have to take the plane as well to find them. We then reviewed 250 applications and we deep dive into 50 of those companies. We spent 100 hours doing that. We didn't just look at the startup concept or technology. We looked as well at their core values and beliefs. We looked at their vision, passion for their ideas, the flexibility to learn, the ability to work with industry peers. The startups you are going to see today are really unique. 
They are trying to revolutionize the millennial experience. They are trying to create new style lifestyle products. They are also trying to make the Internet of Things relevant for insurance or make regulation simpler. But to do that, we need great people. And as part of the program, we invite hundreds of mentors for their skill and their passion for the sector. We also work closely with entrepreneurs. We call those amazing people executive in residence. Those people come from our partners. They are actually the ambassadors for their business. They are here to connect leaders within their organization to help the startup find their first projects. And here is a video. So I think InsureTech is going to have a really positive impact on the insurance industry. Although looking forward we're going to have more people self-insuring as they better understand risks, we're going to see growth in peer-to-peer -peer insurance, there's still going to be a real need of insurance companies to provide the capital that backs society's risks. I think the future for the insurance industry is really exciting and we're expecting there to be lots of changes in that space, so particularly in things like motor insurance with the development in cars automated driving that could really transform the market. Uh, interacting with insurance companies uh, is going to be a lot easier. Insurance companies are going to become a lot smarter and ultimately it's going to be a lot better of an experience for customers. If you step inside an insurance company, look into that black box, that underwriting process, there's, uh, I just see there's massive changes coming there as well. You can see products, technology and barriers breaking down across the industry. Changes are occurring so rapidly. Um, I do reckon though that um, the individual will be at the centre of everything even more so than today. What I learned during my work with startups in the last two years, it's not about technique, it's all about the people and this fits perfectly for Startup Bootcamp. The people at Startup Bootcamp make the difference. The most amazing thing is what we learn from the process that the companies are going through. There are some fantastic companies in the fintech cohort and we're really excited we're working with some of them. But the most amazing thing is how we can take those practices and then start changing the way we do things inside LV, which is something we're learning from both the startup bootcamp process and from the companies that are going through it themselves. What amazes me is the harmony there is between uh, the partners in Startup Bootcamp and the startups, the entrepreneurs and the later stage companies we meet. Um, there is a will to collaborate and cooperate and achieve something together and help each other out. I love the enthusiasm, I love the engagement of, of, of all, the, all the companies that we've, that we've worked with. Uh, but also it's just it's a different way of doing things. I mean, we're a 150 year old company, um, maybe a little bit set in the ways, uh, and I think what's great is we can see that the way we've been doing things isn't the only way to do something, and we've been able to learn a lot from the startup companies. It allows PwC to bring its business knowledge, its industry knowledge, alongside startups and really exciting dynamic businesses and help them accelerate their growth. Seeing how much can be done in 48 hours is just absolutely incredible um, and teaches us as a corporate a lot of, uh, a lot of valuable lessons. Where else, as an insurer, could you get access to 10 companies in one morning who range from wearable technology right up to digitally aggregating pensions? And that helps us challenge perceived wisdoms of our propositions and to look at potential partners in the future to help better serve our customers. We'd like to thank our 14 partners to be so involved with the startups. The past three months, I know, has not always been you know, easy, quite sometimes very demanding, and we'd like to thank you for your support in, in the, into the program. We'd also like to, to thank our global partners uh, for providing the startup with the infrastructure support they need to become sustainable businesses. But all this can't happen if we don't learn. And at Startup Bootcamp, we learn all the time. We have now delivered over 30 programs globally. 
and each program we deliver help us become better. We have graduated over 300 startups as well since 2010. We have helped those startups raise over 100 million euros and then deliver and achieve a combined valuation of 500 million euros. Not bad, right? And that in just five years. So what is our vision for the future? Well, we are part of a family of innovation programs. And the accelerator is a very important part of what we do. We have now, I'm sure many of you know, a number of fintech programs all around the globe. We have digital health in Miami and Berlin. We also have a smart transformation program in Berlin. We've just launched our Internet of Things program here in London, and we'll be continuing our Internet of Things program in Barcelona. We have many more programs, but those programs are the most relevant for the insurance sector. So what about InsurTech? Well, time will tell. So now we are going to welcome on stage David Lash, Chief Strategy Officer of CNIP, and Ben Britt, General Partner from Route 66 Venture for a great fireside chat. Please welcome them on stage with me. Ben, 